Good morning, church family and whoever might be watching this video this morning. This is Pastor Rick once again with a, a long overdue uh, issue or installment of In the Car with PR. And uh, yesterday we had to cancel church at the Ark uh, through this whole uh, coronavirus situation. Uh, we have moved to Zoom services so that everybody can connect and uh, it can be more interactive than just uh, viewing over uh, Facebook or YouTube or whatever. And of course there was a huge Zoom outage yesterday so uh, we didn't get to have church yesterday. So I thought it might be a good idea just to uh, give us some food for thought today. And what I thought I would do is give you all a little preview of the message for now next week that would have technically been yesterday. And that message really is built around Romans 12, chapter 2, which simply tells us that we need to allow ourselves to be transformed by changing the way we think. Over the last several weeks, we've been talking about uh, spiritual sensitivity and learning where we're at, uh, learning where we're at in our spiritual growth, because knowing where we're at is important to us determining where we need to go and what areas we need to sort of cooperate with God on in order to grow. And in Romans chapter 2, uh, it tells us that we need to be cautious and careful about the way we think because we're transformed by the way we think. And uh, this next week's message is going to talk about several areas that the world has one way of thinking and we have another way of thinking. And I just want to kind of give you some food for thought this morning as you're going about your day, as you're uh, just thinking about God, as you're thinking about um, spiritual things, uh, you know, as the Bible tells us to uh, go about our day singing psalms and hymns and that sort of thing, uh, spiritual songs, making music in our heart to Him. As you're doing that, and maybe as you're having your quiet time today, just uh, consider how do you think? You know, I think we underestimate just how much of a pull this world has on us as Christians and how much it dictates how we think. Um, we are in the world all the time. I mean, we are in the world every day, uh, many hours a day, uh, most of our day, as a matter of fact. And when I say in the world, if we just lived at home with our families and really had no other input there at the house, then it would maybe be, what, eight hours a day, eight, nine hours a day. But, you know, we are in the world, in, in our current society, all the time. We wake up in the morning and we turn on the TV, many of us. Uh, I don't, but I know many people do. They turn on the TV, they turn on the radio, they're listening to input from the world, they get in the car, the radio goes on, uh, they're listening to news, they're, you know, whatever, uh, listening to music, that's the world, many, unless we're listening to a Christian uh, radio station. Then we go into work, that's the world. Then we, you know, come home, it's the same thing, we turn on TV, you know, we have... Uh, movies, TV programs that are all the world, we read books that are of the world, and it, it's kind of hard to separate ourselves from the world. And it is very easy to become like the world in our thinking. And I think some of the areas that in which we think like the world is going to shock some of us. We're going to think, wow, that's I never even thought of that. But yet we are thinking like the world. And so I want you to, to just consider today, how do I think like the world? The Bible says we need to be a totally different creature. Uh, we need to, to think completely different when we cross the line of salvation. And so I want you to consider uh, today, you know, how do I, do I think like the world? Or do I think like Jesus would have thought? Like he does think. 
And how do we start moving in the right direction? Well, we need to spend more time thinking on things above rather than things on earth. We need to spend more time thinking about God's Word, thinking about those things that please Him. So, you know, that's just a little bit of a preview for what's coming up uh, in the next week on Sunday. And if you, uh, you have the link, if you don't have the link, you can go out to uh, the ark for you. That's uh, the ark number four letter U dot org, and go to Zoom or on Zoom. I think is the button at the top on our website, and it will give you the link. Uh, check out the link. Get it ready for Sunday. Send it out to as many people as you can. We should be filling that Zoom service up because now is a time when people can join church, uh, visit church without actually leaving their home. So very, very simple. So hope to see you all on Sunday. God bless. Have a wonderful day. This is Pastor Rick signing off.